into all the world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. <clears throat> May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> o God, who raised up St. Mark, your evangelist, and endowed him with the grace to preach the gospel, grant, we pray, that we may so profit from his teaching as to follow faithfully in the footsteps of Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, clothe yourselves with humility in your dealings with one another, for God opposes the proud, but bestows favor on the humble. So humble yourselves under the, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. Cast all your worries upon him, because he cares for you. Be sober and vigilant. Your opponent, the devil, is prowling around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. Resist him, steadfast in faith, knowing that your brothers and sisters throughout the world undergo the same suffering. The God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory through Christ Jesus, will himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you after you have suffered a little. To him be dominion forever. Amen. I write to you this briefly through Sylvanus, whom I consider a faithful brother, exhorting you and testifying that this is the true grace of God. Remain firm in it. The Chosen One in Babylon sends your greeting as does Mark, my son. Greet one another with a loving kiss. Peace to all of you who are in Christ. The Word of the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. A responsorial song. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will, I will sing, sing the goodness, goodness of the Lord. The favors of the Lord I will sing forever. For all generations, my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, My kindness is established forever. In heaven, you have confirmed your faithfulness. Forever, I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The heavens proclaim your wonders, O Lord, and your faithfulness in the assembly of the Holy Ones. For you in the skies can rank with the Lord. Who is like the Lord among the sons of God? Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Blessed the people who know the joyful shout. In the light of your countenance, O Lord, they walk. 
At your name they rejoice all the day, and through your justice they are exalted. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We proclaim Christ crucified. He is the power of God and the wisdom of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus appeared to the eleven and said to them, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will drive out demons. They will speak new languages. They will pick up serpents with their hands, and if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. Then the Lord Jesus, after he spoke to them, was taken up into heaven and took his seat at the right hand of God. But they went forth and preached everywhere, while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the word through accompanying signs, the gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. <laughs> morning. I had an odd feeling that now I know what Millie Vanilli feels like at the Gloria when everybody stopped when I started choking. Probably the people who watch this video think we're lip syncing. Now, uh, today the church celebrates the feast of John Mark. Mark commonly referred to St. Mark, becomes a Christian through the preaching of Peter. And he accompanies Peter to Rome. And we heard today in the letter from Peter where Peter refers to Mark as his son. Not literally son, but he has a close fatherly relationship to the younger John Mark. It is in Rome that the people of Rome, the Christians, uh, beg Mark to write down Peter's preaching. And therefore we have the Gospel of Mark. He was Peter's secretary and obviously he could do what Peter could not do, write. Mark would, as tradition tells us, go on to Alexandria, Egypt, and found a church there, a Christian community. It was known for its piety and devotion. And in fact, at one point in history, the church, the Catholic Church in North Africa was by far the strongest uh, area in all Catholicism. And it was from this school of prayer and piety, from this community founded by Mark, that we would see rise into Africa the various uh, hermits and monks and female orders that would come, the desert fathers and mothers, and you would see all of this, and it started through Mark. Mark, as tradition also tells us, as he was getting to be an older man, is one day grabbed by a crowd of pagans. They bind him with ropes, drag him over rocks, and throw him in prison. The next day, resume the torture uh, again with the binding and the rocks. Uh, tradition tells us that he was consoled at night vis-a-vis -vis an angel in a dream. 
and he would subsequently give up his spirit in a very forgiving manner toward those who had treated him so harshly. John Mark uh, had a great opportunity in his life. He's able to hear the gospel proclaimed by Peter. He's able to go and help bring others to Christ in his time in Alexandria. And he's able, through the establishment of that community in Alexandria, to be able to influence others through his prayer, his piety, and his writing. There is, and I repeat, there is nothing that separates Mark from you or I. We have the same potential that Mark had. We can hear the gospel preached to us every time we listen to the gospel being proclaimed in Mass or whenever we choose to read it ourselves. We encounter the same Holy Spirit, the same risen Lord that Mark encountered when he listened to Peter. We have the opportunity, just as Mark did, to go and proclaim that to other people by our lives, our actions, and our words. And finally, like Mark, we have the ability to influence others by what we say and do. When Mark went to Alexandria, he didn't think that at one time, through his initial efforts, the church in North Africa would become the home of some of the great minds and saints known to Catholicism. He was just trying to do his part to spread the gospel. We don't know what impact our lives and our efforts to spread the gospel can have upon others, but we should do our part, as Mark did, and leave it up to God to bring the plant into full bloom. May Almighty God be with you. May he bless you. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. For the shepherds of our souls, that they may have the strength to govern wisely the flock entrusted to them by the Good Shepherd. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For the whole world, that it may truly know the peace given by Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For our brothers and sisters who suffer, that their sorrow may be turned to gladness which no one can take from them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For our own community, that it may bear witness with great confidence to the resurrection of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those in our community who are suffering, whether from physical, emotional, or mental illnesses, that they may be comforted by the resurrected Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the prayers we owe in the silence of our hearts, for all of our intentions spoken and unspoken, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for Lily Seals, for whom this Mass is being offered today, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with a prayer in honor of the Most Blessed Trinity. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, and will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. 
May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand. For the praise and glory of his name. By the living good of all his holy church. As we venerate the glory of St. Mark, we humbly offer you, Lord, the sacrifice of praise and humbly beseech you that your church may always preserve in the preaching of the gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for ages unending, with all the host of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. <laughs> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. 
have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, the only him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say, say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Behold, I am with you always, even to the end of the age, says the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Grant we pray, Almighty God, that what we have received from your holy altar may sanctify us and make us strong in the faith of the gospel which St. Mark proclaimed through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth glorifying the Lord by your luck. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Prayer to St. Michael. Holy, Holy Michael, Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the sinners of the devil. May God be with him when we pray. And to you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power, thrust into hell, Satan and all the other evil spirits who wander through this world seeking to ruin us souls. Amen. The divine praises. Blessed, Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God, the true name. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus, the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the consoler. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary the most holy. Blessed be her holy immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin of my mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God, all the angels, and his saints. 